Hello folks and welcome back. Now during the pre-grinding, I uh, did some really difficult jumps that I can't do that often and found a Kapla water. It recharges your magic age, completely restores your hit points, and I'm going to trade it for something better. This item is not quite as necessary in the PS2 version thanks to the Trials of Alma. But for us, well, it's rather helpful. Yes, it multiplies uh, the emerald you obtain from uh, pickups by 1.5 times. So it's in the accessory slot from now, basically until the final dungeon. Now then, let's take care of that ruins problem. Anyway, to get the capital water you have to do some pretty fiendish jumps. Which is why I didn't record it initially, but turns out that I'm a little better at that sort of thing than I like to give myself uh, credit for, so you're going to be seeing the jumps I had to do. Speaking of which, there's something I haven't shown off yet, which is the dash jump, which is done by tapping the directional, and then after you let go, there's a window where if you hit jump and slash together, you do a really high-powered jump that gives you more forward movement than you'd normally get. So anyway, the Ruins of Amnesia. Big. Well, not nearly as big as I remember them being. Those tur hits will do knockback when they hit you. Like, super knockback. The big... Uh danger is in this uh, is mainly to your patience because there are a lot of places where you can just fall. Sometimes you should fall intentionally though because there are items you can grab. Like this. The heavy belt is a very situational item. Because it's an item that gives you a bonus uh, but also inflicts a status ailment, in this case slow. However, you can counter that by wearing the Sylphan boots, but I don't have the accessory slots for that sort of thing. Yet, anyway. So whenever you fall, you don't take damage, you're just dumped into a room with lots of enemies that want to kill you. As opposed to enemies that don't want to kill you. There are no face McShooties in East. Oh, uh, yeah, I almost missed a chest. This one is a little bit hidden, but... It contains a healing item, and any healing items you can get for free are great considering how expensive they tend to be. Climb up here, fight off the rampaging Cuberts. And back we are. Most of this game's mandatory uh, platforming is confined uh, to the Ruins of Amnesia. However, Oath and Felgano really went wild with the platforming bits. Okay. This room. Now, this is how you get the Kapla water in the Ruins of Amnesia. You jump here. Dash jump there. 
then make a jump onto this pillar, then dash jump off of this pillar. Move to this platform, then dash jump across this gap. Well, jump, uh, dash jump across the gap by going north and grab that chest, and then fall down. I, I didn't mean to do that, uh, though that's probably understood. I don't consider my viewers to be idiots. This room is probably where most of your unintentional falling is going to happen. Because you have the beam turrets. You have uh, these guys. And you have the fact that East was not until recently known for platforming at all. Oh yeah, these fire guys, though they seem invincible, you can actually uh, batter down their defenses if you just whack them enough times. These guys are still a danger, the ring tossers. They boomerang rings, they fire fairly frequently, and do a fair chunk of damage. As you can see right there. Okay, I need to jump. Run off the platform and fall down here. This is definitely the falling dungeon. Okay, now what I actually meant to do was something a bit more like this. Now you have to jet dash jump across there. And this gives you the bloody nail, which gives you five hit points back every time you kill an enemy. I don't have the accessory slot uh, I can spare for it, but that's going to change pretty soon. Oh yes, also uh, while in town I upgraded uh, Brolon to level 7 because I don't trust the boss of this stage to not be a dick. So we now have a new accessory spot. There it is. And here we go. Yeah, aside from the ring tossers, the uh, runes of amnesia are mainly about testing platforming, and if you're bad at platforming, your patience. There is something in this dungeon uh, we haven't uh, picked up yet, but that's going to have to wait until later because we don't actually have the means of getting to it. We won't be getting the black tabula for a while. By the way, I loathe this room even under the best of circumstances. And this is not it. And we're at the boss room. Oh boy. It's another fairy. This tomb will be your grave.
Okay, Udmeu. Make sure to jump when he comes down here because that shockwave will hit you and he hits pretty hard. If you're not overleveled like I am. So, what he will do... He has two attacks. One of which destroys sections of the floor. And that floor is lava, which will continuously sap your health. His second attack... Well, actually you'll see it eventually. Oh yeah, you can critical bosses. None of this weirdo crit hit immunity stuff. As you can see, my available floor space is diminishing pretty rapidly. So fighting this boss is a real race against time. This is a second attack, and if it hits you at any point, even when it's winding down, it will smack you across the room. For the same damage as the boss's shockwave. As I so helpfully demonstrated. Still though, he's not as nasty a boss as the previous one. As proven by the fact that he has been destroyed very quickly. Yeah, it all gets that a lot. <laughs> that's a lie. Victory swings. Okay, let's see what's beyond these ruin thingamajigs. Oh. Oh, hey, it's that eye from the intro. Hey there, eyeball. That thing has no importance in the game whatsoever. I'm not even joking with you. It showed up in the intro, but it has no bearing on the plot or anything. And we just climb out here. Oh my. This style looks a little bit familiar, actually. Of course. Yeah, I figured she'd be one of the winged ones. Hey, Fina and Rhea put in a word for us. Adol is probably no longer amazed by talking statues at this point. Okay, this is the final sword, Aerosil. I won't be using Aerosil that much, but there are a couple of pretty hilarious things I'll be able to use it for. It's actually necessary to get two of the five tabulas. Plus, I can do some pretty ridiculous damage to one of the bosses uh, with its special move. Oh. 
round here for another ass kicking, are ya? Oh. Well, he seems legit. In any case, I can't actually use the wing here because this doesn't actually count as a dungeon, or part of any dungeon. So I have to go back in and use the wing to actually leave. But since I have Erisil, I can knock down this door. This nets me at the Rainbow Fragment, whose utility will be demonstrated in the next dungeon, and the Red Tabula. And that's about it for this one. Next video will be more towning. See you then.